arrived at Expardic today, so not too long a travel, which is nice when you come to a race, you haven't got to travel too far. A uh, short flight and then a short car journey as well, so nice to be back, great facilities, so you've got everything you need to prep well for the race and we've got a few days to get over the short travel and then get ready to smash it on Sunday. What's the swim set? Anything? Ten twos. Ten two hundreds. The main set. Main set, anyway. Not too late to go in indoors. If you want. <laughs> Might do 100 metres and then end up in the indoor pool because I don't deal well with the cuffs. <laughs> it's definitely how you're meant to open your new goggles. <laughs> Rip. Carnage. Water temperature for the race is predicted 14 degrees, so I'm hoping the pool is a bit warmer than that. I don't like the cold. Okay. Um, I could do. Make it look like sunny. <laughs> So far, so I'm hoping for a third good race, going for the triple. But yeah, no, I'm feeling good. We've had one year where it's been a wetsuit swim and one year where it's been a non-wetsuit swim. Really likely that it's going to be a wetsuit swim again this year, because the water is probably the coldest it's been. So um, it would suit me more if it was non-wetsuit, but swim's a swim for me. So um, yeah, looking forward to getting started really. And, I'm feeling good on all three at the moment, so yeah, I'm hoping to put together the best performance yet on Sunday. What do you think of this course, Pancake Flat Course? What's the... It's all about the aero. <laughs> so it's dead flat bike course, it's all about putting down the power, being as aero as possible, but saving energy for the run, because although it's not a hilly run, it's got a mix of kind of sand, um, trail path, road, it's got a mix of everything really, so you don't want to have kind of nothing left in your legs if you go too hard on that bike and there's grass as well so grass saps your legs quite a lot so you want to save something for a nice strong run at the end. This. Ta <laughs> That's how you organise your race stuff. We're two days out from the race and we're just going to go out and recce some of the bike course so uh, just get a bit of a feel for the course. I mean I've obviously ridden it twice now so um, I already know the course pretty well. There's, there's nothing really to look out for on the course. It's dead flat, nothing technical so it's more about just checking the bike over that it's working today. Check my legs are working as well and uh, yeah just, just go out and ride. The sun's shining today so no complaints and uh, Hopefully the legs are going to feel good and we'll just sort of shake them off and get ready for Sunday. So um, yeah, wind's not a problem, but fast flat course, bike feels good, legs feel good, so uh, ready to go.
feel so salty. I'll still take a bite. Okay, you can take my Lambo. I'll put on a tight show. You sure you can handle? We be faster than Django. Not too bright and early. I know. The worst bit is actually the swim, even though I can swim. Because it's bloody freezing. What do you reckon it'll be? 15? I still brain freeze, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure about the swim. Because the swim's obviously a good bit for us, but if it's really cold, then not, I don't just fare too well with cold. Um, yeah, it is what it is. And then, bike hard, flat, like being on the turbo for two hours, I guess, no hills. And then, uh, just run hard, I'm running well. What do you think of this course of it? I really like it. I think it's uh Especially the run course. Yeah, the run course is we do a lot of our work on um, <coughs> cross country terrain and things like that, so having the mixed terrain, we've got a bit of horse track, a bit of grass, a bit of gravel, a bit of pavement, so for us that's really good. Mm. We very rarely run on the same terrain as at home, so the only thing is it's dead flat and we quite like the hills, but that's what it is. So what's the morning rituals? Not from getting up around breakfast. Get up early, still early even though it's 9 a.m. start. Make the drinks, get the suit on, got to do the tattoos. Just put sun cream on first though, so they might not work, but never mind. Um, that's it really. Put some good music on in a bit when I walk down. Pump up my tyres, put the nutrition on, and then try and get the head on his own. <laughs> don't the, know what that is. <laughs> what's the music choice? Um, normally whatever I work out to, so I have a workout playlist, so a um, bit of Imagine Dragons, a bit of NF, a bit of Eminem, a bit of anything really that gets me going. <laughs> <laughs> Got no battle braids at this race. <laughs> I've never had battle braids at this race, so I'm not going to change it now. I'm going to have the one braid at that. I've got too much hair, so I'm just trying to fit it into my hair and in my helmet, which is in my hair. My very spare raid suit, in case the zip breaks. This is my raid bag, wetsuit. Bottle for the front, the shoes, element bolt, bike computer. I've got my nutrition in here. Swim cap, goggles, spare elastic bands, jam sandwich, earbuds, <laughs> room key. Let me in my zone, uh, let me in my 
ever won the championship here at the X Bionic Sphere, the Challenge Family Championship event, Lucy Charles. Yeah. Lucy, congratulations, you got the hat trick. Are you gonna stop coming here now? <laughs> yeah, I think now year on year, the pressure's just gonna grow to get another title here. But um, yeah, I'm over the moon with how it went today to get the third title. I've been saying every year, the female field is getting stronger and stronger here. So it's making it harder to come back and win. Um, but yeah, it was a great day and really, really happy. So four hours and I think it was 24 seconds. Uh, now, what's with the stopping in the transition area and throwing your bike around and falling over? Like, I think we could have got the 24 seconds just from T2. Yeah, there was a few mishaps today. One was, um, I've done this course twice, but I still managed to miss slightly a left turn because I was looking at a cone and thought I had to go round the cone, but actually that cone was like just saying, don't go there, there's toilets here. So I had to do a little U-turn and then get going again. Um, then I fell over with my bike in T2, and then coming out of T2, I fell over again, just before getting on the run course. So if I hadn't done all of those things, I think I would have got under four hours, but um, not that I'm being picky, no. It, it, all I needed to do was to get the win here today, and I'm still over the moon to have gone about five minutes quicker than last year anyway. So the, the goal wasn't to just try and keep the race a little more exciting for all of us, uh, us announcer types. That wasn't what you were thinking out just there. Just sprinkle a bit of drama in there, no. <laughs> so, yeah, just over four hours. Uh, big, you know, last year I think it was 4.06 and change. 
Um, the run, fantastic as well, if not the fastest, one of the fastest run splits of the day. Got to be happy with where your run's at at this point. Yeah, the run is the bit I'm enjoying the most at the moment, like in my training and in racing, that's the part where I feel like I finally get going and, and actually enjoy that bit. So um, I'm hoping that's just going to go from strength to strength now. And yeah, my swim's good, but maybe my run can be a weapon as well. So next up, I believe Challenge Roth. Uh, Daniela Blamel <laughs> was here today and uh, you ended up being able to stay ahead of her this time around. Um, you know, how are you feeling going into Rolf? Yeah, I think, I mean, last year was a great race. I had a few kind of stomach issues on the end of the bike run. So um, I've kind of said before, I didn't really actually get to enjoy the atmosphere that Rolf offers. So I'm hoping this year I can go, hopefully redeem and, and get the top spot, but mainly just go there and actually absorb what everyone always goes on about, about it being one of the best races there is for the atmosphere. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed. If I, if I feel good, then I can have a good day and, and take all of that in as well. Yeah, why do I feel like you're going to be pushing so hard that you're not really going to be noticing a whole lot? <laughs> anyway, I sure hope that you can enjoy that day in Rose. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, Reese always tells me off because um, in races I'll say, oh, did you see that dog or did you see this on the course? And he's like, how do you manage to see these things when you're meant to be head down and working hard? But somehow, maybe just because it's a dog, I managed to notice. But, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, anyway, you managed to focus more than enough today other than T2, but we'll work on that. Yeah. And uh, good luck in Rose. We'll, we will look forward to seeing you there. Congratulations to the hat trick here Thank you. at the championship.